quick live video. Hey folks, Wolf Driver coming at you live. Switch your camera around. And we are in Cumberland, Maryland right now. No, I haven't been with you for a while. Apologize. Just uh, the way Facebook's working and my time limitations. We're heavy running the dogs, doing a lot of unbelievable dog activities. Give you a quick view of the wolf pack here. There's Jag. Jag looks like he's ready to roll, doesn't he? <laughs> now, Jag, in case you're just tuning in for the first time, Jag's a all Siberian Husky. He's all white, got blue eyes, roughly eight and a half years old. The Z-Man, Zorro. Zorro is a Husky Malamute mix. He's roughly eight and a half years old. And down there somewhere, there's the Chase. Chase, hey Chase. Hey Cheryl, I see you out there. How are you doing? Great to see you. So I know Cheryl's um, tunes in a lot, so this is a little redundant for her, but just giving you a glimpse of the wolf pack again. Chase doesn't look like he cares. And let's get the uh, princess, the senior girl here. And Zorro's taking up the camera. I don't know if you can see her princess. Actually, I'll uh, go around the other side and put her in. So basically, yeah, Cheryl, a long time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, we've, um, you know, Facebook, they're, uh, unfortunately, they make it sometimes harder for us to reach the audience, so I just don't spend the time trying to do it because they usually, it's just a charge for advertising and stuff, and I'm trying to avoid that, just putting all the resources in the run of the dogs, but here's Chase. And Chase is uh, looking as handsome as ever. Now the pretty princess. Let's see if we can get her a princess. If you don't get there, she is, and that's the princess. Now princess is the eldest of the crew, and she's actually just about 14 years old now. So. Uh, real quick synopsis of what we're doing. So we're setting up one of my uh, mush mobiles. This is um, called the Mush Monster for those of you out there that are uh, tracking all the different vehicles I drive the dogs on. Got big orange tires as you see. The larger tires gives us a little bit of suspension because normally these bikes, they're essentially recumbent quads and trikes. Quad is a four wheel, trikes three wheel, I have different ones. The larger wheels gives us more suspension or at least some suspension and because there's no shocks. So it makes it a little more comfortable ride for us, less bouncy and Princess rides in the back here. Yeah, it is a beautiful day, Cheryl. Princess rides in the back here. This is a specialized seat that's actually custom made for motorcycles. I use the same one on my motorcycle and she rides in the back when she wants. So she'll do, usually she'll do anywhere from a mile to three miles when we start off. And then she'll be tired. She and all the dogs have these special, they're carabiners. They tether to the bike with these large springs. So there's plenty of, uh, it, it absorbs any kind of pulling action and it neutralizes it. So it won't pull us over, especially I've trained these dogs originally on a regular bicycle and that uses that yes uh the, the white one you can hook it into jim you see it in there uh it must be on the other side yeah it's on the other side because that's side out so different bikes we carry different equipment and they all are battery powered so the dogs are simply trotting with it the dogs couldn't actually pull this on any kind of uphill grade because of the weight of the bike so we pedal with them work with a team that's what mushers do but we're working in a different way. Instead of being on the back of the sled kicking, we're actually pedaling. And um, I believe I'm the only one doing this kind of what we call urban mushing. Urban mushing is a fairly common term when people run dogs in city-like environments where they're not out on the, the middle of nowhere. Now we will get back in the middle of nowhere on some of these trails where we'll be in the back woods and back forest. You can see I take two people with me. Now, I've got two people on the crew today, meaning Jim and Chris, but there's a two seat, the bike has two seats in order so I can have some help because when I'm out there, anywhere from watering the dogs to you see the saw cutting a tree down that's in our way, uh, to navigating tight gates to get through. As you can see, we're a little wider than a regular bicycle, which a lot of these trails are designed for, so I need assistance. Um, just so you know, this is the back of our truck. This truck's been specially made. <laughs> That's right, that's Princess's carriage, essentially, her throne. And uh, she really does well for her age, and I just try to keep her as mobile as possible because, of course, as the dogs get older, health ailments set in, such as arthritis, stiff joints, whatever the case, cramping up occurs more frequently. So um, it helps 
any kind of mobility we can give her. And the thing is, with all dogs, finding something that engages their activity, engages their instinct, will excite them and get them to engage in that particular activity. Like huskies particularly uh, aren't like other dogs that like to fetch, like to chase a ball and fetch, or they don't like to swim as much like uh, a water dog might like to do. So what we do is what they were bred to do, which is run them in all different capacities. And this is one of them. This is probably the one I can get the most mileage out of. In case you're just tuning into me, I run them also on farms where they're off leash. They're trained to kind of follow me or run with me on an ATV. And I use all electric vehicles to be green and uh, to uh, be able to hear the dogs there so there's not an electric, a loud gas powered motor. Everything's electric when I'm on the farm, etc. So everything's specialized here. That's pretty much it. This truck, by the way, is specialized in itself. It's a 6 4 Ford Excursion. You can see the Brockway truck ornament. Now, I used to drive a tractor trailer in one of my previous lives, and Brockway was a truck company, kind of like Mack Trucks. Back, we're going back to the 50s and 60s, and I believe Mack Truck bought them in the 70s. But coincidentally, their logo or hood ornament insignia was a sled dog, a husky, pulling. And you can see Brockway's written I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So how appropriate for this vehicle. They also had side badges. These are all original elements from the different trucks that people have salvaged and you can find on eBay, etc. And by the way, just for ease of use with the dogs, as they get older and not to wear on their joints too much, those steps came out electronically and automatic. So, because the truck sits up a little high so we can actually access trucks, access trails, and different areas to run the dogs that might be a little bit hard to access with a regular truck. We use a trailer for easy use depending on where we're going, but sometimes there's, as you can see, there's speakers on the truck. It becomes a big party if the, when there's a lot of people out here we're setting up. But there's a specialized roof plate, deck plate if you will, with an electric winch that can winch the bike up there if need be, if we don't, if we're going to a place where we can't take this trailer. The trailer allows us to take other bikes. We have a scooter with us today. We do other activities. We do ghost hunting with the dogs. We call that the werewolves. Been doing a lot of that recently, so you can tune into that. And um, the activities change a little bit, and they I varietize them as much as possible to keep the dog's interest. Anything to do with running, they're almost uh, ready to engage at any particular time. But getting the longevity out of them, getting them to run for extended period, you gotta keep their interest, especially a dog like Princess, where she's very uh, finicky. Forget about her age, she's always been finicky. So that's Zara sunning it up right now. And uh, that's where we're at, folks. So I'd love to talk more to you. I do a lot of stuff. I hope to get here. Hey, Eva, how are you? From Sweden, Merry Christmas to you. And there's Cheryl saying hi to Zara. So, um, by the way, we call this fur wheel drive. Some people have four wheel drive vehicles. We have a fur wheel drive vehicle. There the old wolf driver logo is. Um, there's Jag. So, uh, and he's pretty comfortable. Jim sits back here with Jag. And you can see the dogs are separated by screens. There's actually a water bowl for each dog. Have specialized fans that are run on 12 volt. We have temperature gauges. I'm always monitoring the dogs, especially because I do some activities with them year round. So it's extremely important that they're kept prop, they ride in proper temperatures for them. Of course, they need air, they need a breeze, they need something in warmer temperatures, as well as in the winter, you can't heat them up too much. So when we're cold up front, we have to make sure they have the right climate where they're riding. So Merry Christmas, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, I hope to be um, doing some more stuff. I'm been working really hard on putting more wolf driver stuff up there. I mean, we've been doing amazing stuff. I hope to share that. I know that I say that. I hope to share that real soon with everybody. You can always, wolfdriver.com is changing a lot. The website's becoming a little more user friendly and a little less, um, how can I say it, a little less complicated so people can come along and really um, just from the get go understand what I'm doing. And then the other wolf driver sites will be tuned up. So people that want to dive a little deeper into what I do will be able to find that information as well. We do trails all over the mid-Atlantic, actually the East Coast. We've been as far as New England, uh, done the Cape Cod Rail Trail, and we go down to points uh, near Tennessee so far. That's our furthest. 
and we are uh, based out of Maryland. So be back at, with you more. There's a couple of Wolf Driver books coming out. There's some already in circulation and all kinds of real exciting stuff. By the way, all these trips, dog trips recently have been filmed in 360. You're looking at the camera there. So you actually can control the view. It's on YouTube under a channel called Husky Dogs in VR, like Husky Dogs in virtual reality. And uh, I'll share more with you soon. Love seeing everybody. Hope to see you soon. Have a great day. This is Wolf Driver signing off. Maybe we'll do some live shots from the trail if we can. And as we get a little more comfortable here, we'll do some live mushing shots as the uh, new technologies keep evolving. Wolf Driver signing off. Thanks, everybody.